spoiler alert, Alex bought this and he forgot it. But I took care of it. Yes, you did. Got you would not have remembered that. It was in there in the corner. Got the Trans Am deck. Morning, team. Morning. Alex, I got one of your favorite ones today. Mopar? Tap Mopar. Okay. Other half Chevrolet. Anyway, we're going to St. Louis, about 644 miles, near as I can figure out. Yeah. We're all going to drive. We're taking two rigs because we got a 68 Charger and a 73 Charger that have both been in a garage, thank goodness they're in a garage, for 30 years. And sitting behind them in the yard is a 73 Blazer and a 77 huge C something series truck. I don't know everything about the commercial stuff, but that is why we're bringing the RTD 35. We're not bringing the RTD 80 because the 35 maneuvers a little bit better. It looks like we'll be on concrete. Yeah. Cool. So, got our Holy Girl coffee. It's back in stock. It's been sold out. So thanks to everybody who's been ordering it. Get your cup of joe and let's go. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a great ride. I can just feel it, Alex. Me too. <laughs> Both parts have been sitting for 30 years. Can't beat that. This is going to be a very interesting extraction from looking at Google Maps or Google Earth looking down on it. I don't know if we can get our trucks up there at all. <laughs> all right. All right. It's going to fall in the nothing's easy category. Morning, Chuck. We got it. How are you, sir? You, you're the best, man. I got you <laughs> on Facebook Live. You think we got time is, to... Can you, we go you, up you, there? Not you, time, but can we get our trailers up there? You want to walk it? Yeah, let's walk it first. Yeah. This is my wife. Good, Good morning. Hi. Right. This is Dennis all for Collins. her. Nice to meet you. You too, ma'am. And uh, Alex Bowling. Alex, I watch you all the time. James Audrey. Every, every <laughs> Saturday morning. Zach on the camera. Oh, sorry, sorry Zach. My wife has the same shirt. <laughs> There's a Texas car he bought 10 years ago. It came from Texas. Sure. El Paso. Zach's special. I guess you want to start looking at the worst, the blazer. Sure. Or uh, did you want to look at, did you no, want to look actually, at, we're, how I, you, we're, we're going to look at the, uh, the unknown truck. Oh. They said you want to. Yeah, I got the title. I got all three, out of here. I got the title. Okay. And since you brought your forklift, hey, right there. Okay. This was my very first wedge bed. This is what I started out with, and my buddy cut the wedge bed off it and put on a crew cab. Okay, so this is a wrecker. This was a '77 Silverado wedge bed. It's still got the big block in. It's still got the, everything from the back of the cab to the front is there. It's rough. I ain't gonna lie to you. But you know what? It can make somebody something, and so a one-ton Chevy truck. Okay. It, it's rough. It's definitely need a forklift for that. Yeah, I put it in here with a forklift. All right. So I guess the next most difficult thing would be the blazer, right? Blazer, and I've got pretty much. You can see where I drug the charger. Set this right here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Probably got a hundred pounds of, of something in it. It, 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 I got the doors and we're getting everything upstairs in the loft for the rest, you know. But I didn't learn about car covers until I started watching your show. How bad yeah. they are. They hurt it. They hurt it. They, they hurt, hurt it bad. Yeah. I'll never put car covers on this again. And that's actually an old pool cover, but. And you did find the title of this? I got title for this. I got title for that Chevy cab. I got 68. Uh, uh, no. I'm sorry, Dennis, no, I did not find a title for this, but within the next month, I will do a bunch, the next couple weeks, I will do a bunch of digging. I have a title, but in that whole 93, 94 flood thing, I had a 
bad dream. That was fun. I got right. trees cut. The trees are cut. I just got to pull them well, out. Thank you for that because James didn't bring the chainsaws. No, sir, he did. We have them though. Well, you know, you just when you're digging this out, I realize I got to replace fence now and all kinds of. So it's all okay. good. It's all now, good. if you don't mind, I want to see the charge yep. that you said that is really rough. That needs to go to the crusher. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we're gonna look to start with the rough stuff first and okay. fix the shovels and then go to the gold. All right. This thing's rough, but it is it is a midnight special. I don't know if you know too much about Midnight Special, but you know everything. You know about the present I have no dreams about. But this car was supposed to be built midnight on a midnight shift. Because of the roof, they can tell by the roof the way it is. It's a big block. It's special, alright. It's special, alright. <laughs> okay, so start over because about... you got me there. I don't know what a midnight special is. Okay. What's a midnight special? Is what I understand a midnight special came from a... I don't even, I would not even tell you which plant it came from. I think it was somewhere in Detroit, wherever. I don't know where it came from. Um, and it was a special shift, and these guys would build these cars and add things to it, but like the roof. That was a roof. That roof only was on the midnight special, as far as what I was told and what I've read. Huh. And, uh, it must have been midnight Friday. <laughs> yeah, I, it might have been. You know, I don't know. I, I, I know they could. They say, because I, when I first got this thing in the early, mid-80s, they said don't. Cars for <laughs> yeah. What motor's in it? 400. Okay. It's a big block car. With your favorite carburetor, Alex. Yeah. It's I complete. Missing some plug wires that the squirrels ate off, I guess. And all the rust you see on it is from a car cover. So out there in. Yeah, I killed it. Out there in you, YouTube land, do not use car covers. Let's see if you can go with that Yeah, good luck with that truck. The passenger yeah. side opens. I tried that one and I. But, okay, uh, so the question is, would you rather have this or the front half of the wrecker? And that was a one ton, right? Yes. Big block, all right? Big block in it, 454. Rather have the, the ramp truck. Okay. Whatever. Okay. It's up to you guys. But I would also want the wrecker. Yeah. <laughs> well, I if if, if due time money okay. will money as soon as this, I mean her medical. Yeah. 14 charges no, one time. I had 19 was it 19? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, get rid of them, get rid of them. The first month I met her in like early 90s, like, what was it, 90? No, I, didn't, I met you in, yeah, 92, I met you in 92. Yeah. We went to Indy, Mopar Nationals. Cool. And uh, I only known her a month or so, and uh, we come out of Indy, and we were cru cruising back home, and just like 10 minutes out of Indy, I passed this charger on a, sitting on a trailer, a 73 U car, big block car, 440, and it had no wheels of tires on it, sitting on it for sale. She goes, did you see that charger back there? And she hadn't even known me that long. <laughs> and I said, no, I missed it. What are you talking about? I whipped it around and went back there and I bought it because it was a big block 440 car. Of course I- Let's go it. see the gold. And you All guys right. out there watching, Sorry. if anybody actually knows what a midnight special is, because you stumped me on that one, send us, a, send us some info and yeah. we'll post it. Okay. Social at cbjeep.com, midnight yeah. special. And I could be totally wrong, but that's what I read online and I, I you know. You sure it wasn't because Dwayne Allman had one of these? Don't have a clue. Midnight Rider? That could be. Come right. on now. Uh, I know he, 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 let me put it this way. It was one house, two houses on the left up here. Uh, I don't know how much of this can go out on YouTube. I don't care, but uh, um, he had it in his garage, and the estate guy sold it. Not that I'm trying to hide it. Anymore. You don't even know yeah, I have the house is still But, uh, um, and there's fighting all kinds of state stuff up there. But uh, uh, my neighbor says, hey, he goes, Chuck, he goes, Paul passed away. I said, really? I'm so sorry to hear that, you know? And he said, but he's got a charger in his garage. And I said, really? And I, he goes, I, I know you collect chargers. And I said, well, I haven't bought one in a long time, but you know, let me look at it. So we opened the door and I seen a 68 year old and I'm like, can I spend a couple hours digging it out? I mean, he was packed in there. I mean, it was the worst one I've ever seen in my life. We dug everything out. And uh, I ran a number and I'm like, it's a 383 car. That's how it popped in. It was all complete. I'm like, we'll look at that in a second. We're still in the picks and shovel stages. Okay. All right. So this is the 73. This is the 73. And this was on its original title still? Uh, I got the original title for it. That's pretty cool. I bought it 30, probably 28, 30 years ago. 
uh, guy put it to the shop. He bought brand new, went through a divorce, uh, put it to a shop to put him get a motor in. They stole the motor out of it and they stole the hood off it. That's a shame. And, and took, uh, I have the head, it has the full, I, I found a little bit of part. It's a 440 hood. Well, I bet that hood was tough to find. Uh, actually, back in the day, they were pretty, 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 now they are. Look at that. Oh, we got the flashlight. Yeah. That's a, so. Check that out, Alex. I saw that. It's a U code. Kind of unexpected. U code 444 barrel. Yeah. It's pretty neat. It's got the fact, it, it, and this is a true rally car, became deleted strike packs from factory. Okay. So it is a true rally, rally charger. Um, it's got the factory exhaust. The, 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 and this car's been sitting for 30 years? This car sat in this third bay here since, nine, since I moved out here in 94. Uh, when did I get this? Probably 94. I, cause I, well, yeah, I bought it in 94. It's about 28 years. Well, it's showing, a, it's showing, well, I guess, 1,554 miles, so I'm just assuming it's 101,000. It's got a 150 mile an hour speedo. <laughs> it's got full gauges, MFM radio. Look at this. Alex, these are actually bucket seats. With just the foot there. That's pretty cool. So you could easily change this from column to console and use these seats. Let's look under the hood and see what the codes are. Fender, never, ta fender tag's nice. It's never been hit. Here's a, right here, really clear. Yeah. So here's the VIN right here. You got it stamped in the cross member in the front. You always tell if it's been hit or not. Fender tag's nice. Power steering, car brake, and AC. Wow. A high option car. These cars are so incredibly ugly, they're cool. I know, that's <laughs> what I don't know how much, how you can go from a 70 to this style, but they did. <laughs> That is crazy ugly. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. No, I know. I, I like it. I'm messing with you. I think it's cool. But it is the original 440 hood because it's got the, the whole And thing. is this motor go with it? Yes, that's the one that me, me and my son here went to. It's a 70, late 72 motor, so it would be a 73 motor. But it's worse because the build date, which is in the door, Alex, is 1172. Cool. And I did a. Uh, I waited. I I wanted to find the right motor for it. Cause I was actually going to. This was going to be my personal car. I mean, I was driving this car. This was going to be something I was building for myself. And I actually had a '74 400 rally car that me and her joked about was going to be a his and hers. And I sold a '74 uh, rally car a year ago, Beth. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice piece. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see the '68. All right. Actually, these cars do look cool when they're done. I didn't move anything off it. I didn't move anything off it because I just I knew you. Okay. But Brett, can I get? Let me I'm grab my bag. You guys can start doing that. You want me some light on the subject? I can't believe you guys brought a fart clip. That's number two. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You ready? Let me. Uh... I'm ready for the reveal. Really want to see. Yeah, it actually looks like it was a uh, light blue, or is light blue. Was. Yeah. Yep. Was that U U one right there? Yeah. That's light blue. B right here, I believe, is the plant, but we're looking at the van, which means it was built. So this is a St. Louis car, Chuck? I'm pretty sure it was. It would make sense since we're in St. Louis. Let's I did. I'll be honest, I didn't get that far. I know, I know, I think that one is a St. Louis car. I know mine's a St. Louis car. It's an H code. All right, so it's a 383 four barrel car. G would have been a two barrel car. And then, so. It's an XP car, Alex on an XS. So this is a non-RT charger, yep. which is cool. Last inspection sticker, 1973. Black vinyl top. When was the last time it was actually driven? Was it 73? I'll be straight up honest, but I don't know. I didn't actually get to talk to that guy since past 
away. So, tan interior. That's really unusual, isn't it? Man, this bay, uh, well, I was sitting here for three years and I just put it in there like something. I just stuffed the door. So, okay, console. Full gauges. Yeah, it's my 74 rally came out of here. Okay. I sold, that's the reason, one of the reasons I sold it was like I think these seats have been redone, Alex. What do you think? The interior looks like it's black. Yeah. Keys are in there. That's a huge plus. You done broke. I know, I just broke the door. Handle broke. Yeah. Alex, I think those seats have been changed or something. See this right here? Six CX, that's black interior, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I had no not, a, not a big deal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. no, I, you're, I kind of like the white, but if it was black, it would have been if I would have done it. Actually, how nice this number is on the core support. Oh, yeah. It's 891.95, right? Read it again. 189.195. No. You sure you're reading it right? Actually, look up. Uh, they're different on 68s, remember? Oh, that's right. You had the sequence number. Yeah. Yeah. This matches that. Yeah. And then the VIN tag. Thanks, Tony, for that info. Yeah, there you go. One, two, four, three, one. Yeah, 68 was that one year they did that, didn't it? Yeah. So really, it's nice on a 68 to have the broadcast sheet. Yep. Yeah. All right. Here's the big question. How rusty is it? Because this car is expensive. Alex says it's pretty nice underneath. Nice than the one we usually buy. Right. Hopefully that's all correct. Yeah, this matches the I was so excited when I got it. I probably did. All right. Very cool. And the title to that 73. 73 is right Really here. interested in that. Look at that. That is so cool. Some of these early titles are kind of like a work of art. Yeah. Twelve seven seventy two, and then walk over here, and you can see the build date of the car it was eleven to seventy two, which means it was probably ordered for that person, for it to come in that quick and be titled that quick. It would have been unlikely that it came from the plant with the dealership was sold that day. Or right. That close. So we made a tentative deal over the phone, but he kind of threw a caveat in there, which is why the forklift's here. Okay. He said that we've got to buy the what was left over of the one-ton wrecker. So we got a deal. I'll pay you what you want for all of them. Perfect. All right. Now we've got to get them out. Honda trike over there. Is there? Yeah. Sure is. Look There's at that. There's a few of those. Actually, yeah, I got a few of those. How many of those do you have? Uh, I got, I got that 125, and I got three 200s. You can see them? Uh, you can see two of them, but okay. the other one is so buried in my black trailer that I can't even get to it. Is that for sale? What do you want to give me for it? Yes. <laughs> All seriousness. What do you want to give me for it? Take it. <laughs> okay, we got a Honda trike. Hey, Courtney. I'm running out of money. I just sold your. And this, another one sitting over here. Okay. So two more. Can I have those for these? You can. Three, three wheelers, Alex. That puts it at five. All we need is a bunch more. Good eye, Alex. Yeah. Getting those two trucks out of there without that would have been tough. We're still running. Am I late to the party? No, it just begun, sir. Yes, sir. I bought five more since you left. <laughs> he ain't kidding. So I bought the Midnight Special. Did you? I bought that Cordoba Very and cool. all three of the Honda three wheelers. Uh uh. That's I figured cool. you got all the straps in the PJ trailer. Might as well use them on something. Strap them down. <laughs> so. We put three cars on that. I'm gonna go with the first two nice cars. Yeah. And then I don't know what we're gonna put on that third. K5. Blazer on the back. Okay. All right, James, you wanna start coming up with a plan and digging that out? We'll start on these. Okay. Deal?
with you. Or you can, or we can do them one at a time. I don't care. So this has got an 81 inspection sticker, and it's on its original 1973 title. So this car was only on the road for eight years. Pretty incredible. It's straight and solid. So these cars have actually come up in value the last couple of years because the 68 and 70s are so expensive and becoming almost unobtainable for the average guy to buy. Right, Alex? Right. And they are with the bulge hood and the right stripe kit, they're neat. They are cool. Magnum 500s, 444 barrel, it's cool. That is one of my favorite things to have. And I brought an action strap. That's the right way to do it. So those are J hooks. Those are definitely going to come in handy today on everything because the hook looks like a J. <laughs> Any jack in the world can use them, they're easy. Everybody loves these because it's a full removable hard top. And believe it or not, somebody will restore that. Alex! It won't be us. Somebody will. You're going to get into your kids up here. We have the keys, which is awesome and unusual. So I got something cool for you. I, I found it. Awesome. And it's under the seat. Let's see it. This is important on a 68, really important. So I can take the seat out so you guys can see it better. Got some time. Take the seat out. So if this broadcast sheet is correct, which is unusual in our world, we'll hit a trifecta. The car has a title. It has keys and a broadcast sheet. Well, actually, more than a trifecta. Fender tags on it, front core sports crack, vent tag has not been touched. Yeah. You can see the original blue paint is I may need a razor blade, so this may take a minute. But there is a number right here on this drip rail in this area. And look at that, I can already see it. And I'm sure Zach's got focused in right there. There's the number right there. We want this number to match the core support up front. But remember correctly is what we've got on the front. One, eight, nine, one, nine. Let's go see up front. Core support, here we are. One, eight, nine, one, nine, five. It matches, how cool is that? Now, what'd you find, Alex? Got something cool for you. All right. I can barely read it, but it's there. Okay, so we've got XP29, which is this car. Engine H, which is correct for this car. And then what we want is this sequence number right here. So 1911. What's on the dash and what's on the course port 189195 the course port and the dash is 212431 okay read the dash van 212431 and then what's the X XP 
should be XP29. XP29 H862124. Okay, so this broadcast sheet is out of a different car, very close to the build on this car, which leads me to believe that somebody just changed the seats out. But what's cool is somebody will want this sheet. It's a little bit off of what we need it to be. It would have been unlikely for this car to have, because this comes black interior on the trim tag. Still a cool find, Alex. Outstanding. Yep. Okay. And there's still a chance there could be a broadcast sheet somewhere else in this car. Right. Could be above the glove box. I already checked that. Or under the carpet. Haven't checked that. Okay, we'll check this. So at least we know the body itself is, is numbers matching. Okay, cool. That's the course point. All right, well let's chunk the spare in here. Put the gloves back on and get this thing up because we've got eight more things to load. Look at that. That's actually pretty neat. That needs to stay with the truck. Heck yeah. Watch this. I installed the shift plate already. Let's go ahead and install the console. I don't know which way it goes. No, it's not a problem. Boom. It's coming together, guys. Yeah. Coming together nice. One more piece and we'll drive it. We're almost done. Why did we buy half of a one-ton Chevrolet truck? Because Alex wanted it. I want the 454. Fair enough. Incoming! <laughs> it worked. Um, this came out of a, a shop that uh, closed down and somebody left it there. And uh, my buddy's dad. So, big block sunroof car. Oh, it's got a bungee on it. I'm sorry. I just put that on there last night to help. Can't leave a car without looking at it. <laughs> well, that's a cream puffer. All right, so we've got the midnight special over there and this. Right. All right. I will take those two, sir. Perfect. All right. All right. Now, had I known we would have bought another truck because we have plenty of them, but we didn't. Yep. All right, now we're down to the last three things. We've got six loaded, three more. So it'd be nine, including the forklift. Depends how you look at it. The 440 motor. That was a great find too. We have maximized our trailer usage. Yes. Uh, I tell you what, you guys load these, I'll take care of the heavy. Back up and then set the front wheel. You alright? That thing's heavy. 
heavier it looks, huh? Yeah. That's a 125. Okay. I think our plan's gonna work, Alex. I think so. Uh, nope, you're good. I'm in the wrong spot. Yeah, you are. Let me get out of here. Oops, I'm down. So. Get the rear. <laughs> Hang on. Third one just needs to pop a wheelie. Pop a wheelie where? <laughs> I think we need to find another hole. Hey, well there's a will, there's a way. Freight cost is high. Yes it is. So we, we buy these picks and shovels so we can take some fuel for our food. And it's fun. Chief, gentlemen. I, I think, think so. I think Chuck's salvage yard is uh, getting empty. I like it. <laughs> Let's get the straps out. Come on. Sanford and Start Sun strapping. City, hey, sir. Go. Somebody do something. Good job, team. Anybody tired? Yes. And I'm hungry. not tired. I'm just hungry. Let's figure out where to go eat. Where's okay. Chuck? Let's go ask Chuck the last question. Oh, there they are. All right, Chuck, you got your one last question. Best local place to eat. Um, or y'all's favorite place to eat? Cyberbs. 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 Okay. How do you spell that? Um, S-Y-B something. So S-Y Cyberbs. Right over off of 55. Off 55, okay. Well, we're hungry. We're going to go eat. If y'all want to go, it's all us. You want to join us? We've been waiting for that for All right. So you want to do that? Yeah. I'll stand Dennis, you're off. You got your 200 for three wheel, right? Yeah. Well, there's another one. Oh, thanks. Uh, I, thank you, girl. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. No, I appreciate you guys helping. Well, let's go to Cyborgs and eat. Uh, Danny Wallace's favorite restaurant, too. It's one of the better appetizer menus I've seen in a while. So we'll do the uh, Sally's Homemade Onion Rings, Cyborgs Famous Chicken Dip, one of, two of those, one for each end of the table. Grilled shark chunks, saigoons, toasted ravioli. We'll do the Sai Shrimp as well. Toasted ravioli, that looks really good. I think I'm really more interested in the saigoon. What is that? Shark? Look at that. Saigu. Saigu is good. Toasted ravioli is good. What is that? Is that a shark bite? I think it is. I think it's like a chunk of shark. I'll try it. That's fishy. I want to try that. That's why we ordered two of them. Chicken dip. It's a saigon. Chicken dip's really good. So far, I like the saigon. I like the toaster avioli. Shark bite tastes is super fishy. Kind of mean. That's my favorite so far. The appetizers were great. They were unique, different, and really good. It's got to be the best bite, right? Lobster mac and cheese. Of course. It's kind of the only bite. There was <laughs> Wow, it's really good. Look at that, there's some lobster right there. Cyberg's a cool place. Good recommendation, guys. So we're, we just ate at Cyberg's in Arnold. And it was one of the neater appetizer menus I've seen in a while. Really good food. Thank you guys for all your time. Thank you. Thanks for being such a great caretaker of that car. Awesome. <laughs> Best of luck in your endeavors. Nice to meet you, Max. Okay. Appreciate it. Nice Very nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for selling me y'all's four wheelers. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Nice to meet you. I know, I do hugs. Sorry. Good, good. She <laughs> watches you every day. All right. <laughs> now we are off to Dallas. We're at Redmond's, Redmond's Candy Factory. I'm going to go through all this candy and find the stuff that I haven't seen since I was a kid and buy it, eat it.
Pez is cool. You know what a Pez is? Mm -hmm. Pez dispenser? Yeah. Okay, so y'all know about that? Oh yeah. You got atomic fireballs, blow pops, these are cool. So there's bubble cub in the middle of those things. Super cool. Okay. Smarties. Extreme sour Smarties. Zot! <laughs> So they heard me talk about these in the truck. These are so cool. You yeah. have no idea what a Zot is, do you? No, we don't. Okay, so when you suck on it, it's a hard candy. It's really good, like a Jolly Wrench or something like that. But when you get through the middle of it, it fizzes up and foams in its whole mouth. <laughs> we can't read. Man. Maybe I want them separate. It's probably a bad idea. So from now on, we'll just use one bag. These are like chewy and juicy. They melt in your mouth. Same again. Warhead Extremes. That'll blow your top off. You ever go to Olive Garden and bring these out for yep. you? Yeah, these do are. Look at August made these best. I like this. All right. Oh, Pop Rocks. These are so much fun. So you put these in your mouth and they explode like, uh, like a small firecracker. So we have to have that and then drink Coke at the same time. Yeah, this, Coke at the same time, and a Zod. Yeah. They got so many flavors like Kool Aid. Grape is awesome. Grape's one of my favorite. I, I think we need to have a basket. Razzles. Yes. <laughs> you want me to go get you another, uh, another little red? I think we need yeah. another one of those, James. Would you help me with that? Take some shovels Such to dig the gold. Oh, I love that stuff. Gold mine bubble gum. I can remember that as a kid, too. Yeah. We need a couple of those. I think it's got to be Mario Brothers. What do you think? I think so. We need a dispenser for all the Pez we bought. That way I can just carry around, put it in my pocket. <laughs> So who's got a prediction on how much that's going to cost? I'm guessing 150. Alex guesses 150. So should I go get a, a soda because I'm going to need more sugar? Which which flavor? <laughs> have you not checked out all the flavors we have? No, I haven't. Let's go look at the sodas. <laughs> they got the old school sodas too. So my favorite, if they have it, would be Welch's grape soda. Fanta grape. That'll work. Awesome. That's life changing. James, you want a fan of grape soda? No, I haven't seen one of those in forever. Which Dr. Pepper is it? How about you, Zach? I want the Dr. Pepper. Yeah, yeah. Zach wants a DP too. What I'm from Waco. Oh, really? Redmond's in Phillipsburg, Missouri. So it looks like we're going to have the world's longest trip from St. Louis to Dallas. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. We got plenty of sugar candy and soda pops from Phillipsburg, Missouri. Oh, no way. Who is the man? So you did it. He was at 120, 150. You were at one. Uh, 130 something. I was at 210. I was in the middle. It is 214. 214. That means y'all got to pay. See you. <laughs> All right. I think old school Dr. Pepper is a good backup choice. <laughs> That is so good. Mm -hmm. I can't remember last time I had a grape soda. It's been a long time. It's been years! <laughs> My dad used to say that. <laughs>